Thank you so much, Mariana. Fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests, let me tell you this. Last week, I used it for the first time in my life. I'm trying my best to make sure I'm not telling you that I yodeled. I haven't. Following <laughs> in my case would be a disaster. You can feel it. I usually and actually I thought at first it would be a disaster as well, but it has proven me wrong. It was it was really helpful and it was a lot of fun. Do you know what I'm talking about? Anybody? <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll skip my next question and it yourself. I will introduce you to you and I will explain to you why you should be doing this as well. Yudling is an artificial intelligence based public speaking platform which has been developed by a very small startup in Seattle. They have partnered with Toastmasters International in September 2022, and they made this Yodlip software available to us, Toastmasters, free of charge. First of all, what Yodlip is not, it's not a human being. It doesn't have the ability for human judging. That means it cannot replace an evaluator, a mentor, a coach, well, but what can it do? I will learn it on my own experience. Well, I could have done it in two different ways. I could have recorded my speech in the real time within the Yodlist software and then get the statistics and analysis of my speech. I did something else. I have uploaded a very long lecture, 54 minutes lecture which have been recorded in Zoom while we were teaching online during the sheltering in place. And I uploaded the whole lecture for you to judge me. And believe me, I did it with a huge trepidation. In the very beginning of my Toastmasters journey, it took me two years before I was able to watch the recording behalf of our speeches. I was afraid if I see myself speak and hear myself speaking publicly, I would never ever do it again. Well, I have wisen up a little bit since then. And I thought I put that fear behind me, but it came back the moment I was ready to at a look at the analytics by Yudly of my 15 minutes lecture. Well, I should tell you, it wasn't as good as I hope I will be some in the future, but it wasn't as bad as that I was afraid it would be. You gave me the analytics in two ways. First, it gave me some information about the word usage and then something about the delivery. And unfortunately, I'm unable to use the timer. So I need mean, you can change it somehow or I can change it on my screen. I don't know something that switched. Give me a second. Okay. If you said the timer, you just hit four minutes. I yeah. can see. I can see. Thank you, Olivia. So what happened with the word? I used 67 us and ums, not counting other filler words. I used one filler word so many times that you not confuse and count it as a keyword of my presentation. The word was right. You know that I'm really inclined to use this word, right? <laughs> <laughs> In terms of delivery, I actually did pretty well. Usually 
is able to transcribe my whole speech. So I have my 15 minute lecture now printed out by New Libre. And there was only one word, wavelength, which you did not understand. I think that what's happening, I'm getting a little bit better, but the speech programs I'm improving and rising up as well. So at some point we will meet, I hope, in the future. But I learned something about myself from the youth lady, which I suspected, but didn't know for sure. I didn't have the answer to put on it. I speak very, 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 very slowly. And I actually adopted this way of on purpose to begin with. As a native speaker, I am actually a past talker. Anyone, anybody from the Soviet Union will recognize right away the place I'm from, just by how quickly, how fast I speak. Not in English. Otherwise, people would understand me and I wouldn't have time to think and translate things in my head. But it was way too slow, so I decided to make a resolution. I'm going to practice talking much faster <laughs> than I do now, and hope you will help me with this goal. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster.